Alrighty, well, a good Thursday morning. We are starting off warm and also very humid once again across the area. Temperatures are in the lower 80s right now, and because dew points are in the upper 70s, it feels like the upper 80s, and things are just going to continue to get worse through the day, meaning temperatures once again climbing into the mid 90s, but also feeling like the triple digits. Here's a look at your current temperatures if you are heading out dark and early, upper 70s on the North Shore, and already in the 80s in many locations on the South Shore. Now today, because things will get so hot, coupled with the high humidity, there's a heat advisory in effect expiring later on this afternoon for the highlighted parishes, where heat indices may get up to 112 degrees today. So if you are going to be outside, just make sure you're just staying hydrated working outside today especially under the hot sun take frequent breaks because heat illnesses may occur now the chances for rain minimal through the morning hours but they begin to bump up as we head into the afternoon hours temperatures will be in the middle to upper 80s through noon already in the lower 90s as we head into the afternoon hours and my daytime high for today 95 just like yesterday we hit 95 at the Kenner Airport now of course coupled with the Humidity, it is going to feel like the triple digits pretty much through the entire afternoon heading into the early evening hours. And for the rest of the area, we're looking at lower to mid 90s in many locations, 92 in Slidell, 94 in Raceland. And we're looking at lower 90s out in Port Fouchon. And the normal temperature for this time of the season, lower 90s. So we'll be well above that uh, for many locations. Now today, there is a severe weather threat, especially on the North Shore. You could see highlighted in green. So that's a marginal threat. It is a low end threat. So scattered showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast for today, but a few of those thunderstorms may get quite strong, uh, isolated really, and uh, the potential threats right now we're looking at heavy rain because the atmosphere is so tropical and strong gusty winds are possible with those uh, stronger thunderstorms. So here's a look at your summer camp forecast, taking the kids out later on today. Don't forget the sunscreen because we're looking at lots of sunshine today. We'll begin to see clouds build in as we head into the noon hour, but already in the lower 90s. I put a 20% coverage for showers, but then later on, Shower chances and rain chances really bump up 40% coverage and temperatures will be in the mid 90s. Nonetheless, it is going to be a very hot and humid day just like yesterday. Air of high pressure set up shop over the Gulf of Mexico is really a dome of hot air. That's why things are just going to get so hot today and it is going to meander over the area through the rest of the week. So taking you through today, through today, as we head to the noon hour, we'll begin to see a few isolated showers pop. Quick heavy downpours are possible and notice the clouds are pretty scattered. As we head into the afternoon hours, on the North Shore, we'll begin to see things really starting to fire up. And then again, those stronger thunderstorms will be quite isolated. And then as we head into the early evening hours, we're looking at partly cloudy skies for many of us. But again, a few of us could potentially see a few of those thunderstorms continuing to pop up. And then out to the west near Baton Rouge, still seeing some shower, even thunderstorm activity for them. Taking a quick look at what's going on in the tropics, still looking at this low pressure system over Central America has a very low chance of development in the next four to five days. We'll continue to watch it, but as of right now, it is running into a lot of wind shear. Again, the atmosphere is not conducive for this system or this area of low pressure to uh, get it to act together. So again, really no tropical threats at the moment, which is good news. And then here's a look at your seven day looking pretty good throughout the rest of the week. Hot and humid daily rain chances are pretty low as we head into your Father's Day weekend. A few pop up showers are possible daily, not a complete washout, but notice the temperatures. It will be quite hot and then as we head into next week it'll be hot and humid mostly dry and the first day of summer is on Tuesday.